Hey, I'm Kelsey Long with um, uh, Compass Directional Guidance. I'm the sales manager over here. And uh, this is going to be our, our first video that uh, in a series that we're going to be calling uh, Drilling and Dollars. During this meeting, we're going to be, uh, this series, we're going to be discussing different aspects of um, directional drilling, MWD, LWD. And um, I'll be anchoring the side that'll be discussing about the, uh, the business and sales side of that. And then um, we'll have somebody else that'll be coming in covering the technical side. Um, today, it's going to be Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, how are you, Kels? I'm Bob. I'm a shop manager down here in Midland, Texas. Um, I've been doing maintenance on tools since 99, started in Alaska. So um, I don't know it all, but I do, do know enough to be dangerous. So here we go. <laughs> Nice. All right. So, um, the, what we're going to be talking about today is going to be the difference between MWD and LWD. And we're going to keep this really high level because uh, our audience is really, really broad. Uh, so there's going to be different levels of experience, different um, areas of expertise and, and that for people that are going to be watching this show. So we're going to keep it really high level. We're not going to, we're going to try not to dip too deep into the technical side uh, so we don't lose anyone today. Sound fair? Sounds good. All right, take it away. What's your take on the definitions of, the, of MWD and LWD? Well, MWD to me is basically, um, you're measuring the different formations in the hole as you're drilling. Uh, logging while drilling uh, basically indicates to me that you're, you're actually logging the different formations that you're actually going through at the time. That sounds fair to me. Now, for LWD, that also means that um, you don't have to be transmitting that data. This could be a memory-only tool, and it would still call right. the LWD, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, you could always come to surface and give you a better idea if you need to. If you have, you know, hard formations or something maybe that you can't circulate through due to the formations, um, being able to document that data and recover it later to know exactly where you're at would sounds Sounds like it makes sense to me. Yep. I know for the last couple of weeks, you've been digging through a bunch of uh, gamma modules, which uh, would be uh, one of the LWTs, probably the most common one used in conjunction with MWD tools. You've got uh, your resistivity. Um, that's the most common, right? And you've got both um, um, propagation wave and your lateral log, different versions of that. Um, you've got uh, your more advanced stuff like triple combo, neutron density, uh, porosity and all that kind of stuff, which are, are really fancy. Very few people have those. And most of the time, I'm not sure how, how useful they are, especially in a U.S. application, but internationally, they're probably used more often. But um, I mean, from your opinion, what do you think from digging through those tools, which is, uh, which do you think is easier to work on the, uh, the LWD tools or the uh, the MWD ones? Oh, uh, MWD for sure. What about on the service side? You got a preference? Oh yeah, de <laughs> there's uh, definitely the MWD, I would say is a lot easier. Um, That's interesting. I actually thought you would say the exact opposite. I thought you would have said that LWD tools are easier to work on because there's not all the uh, moving parts and stuff like that. So that, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, but I mean, from a, from actually a maintenance standpoint, uh, as long as you're doing your maintenance the way that you're supposed to be, the mechanical part of those tools is not an issue. It seems to be um, a lot of the issues that we actually have when we have a hard failure is due to a board or something going out. It's just like your computers at home. You know, I mean, it can be working great one second and and everything's fine and you don't do anything but hit the power button and all of a sudden everything doesn't work again you know it's just it's just died and it's the same kind of process with these mwd tools uh, you know we go through our maintenance procedures and we do everything we can to make sure that we give the customer the best product that is available for for them but at times i mean a board goes out there's nothing we can do to, to solve that issue it just kind of happens um, but from a mechanical standpoint, when you're talking about gears and screws and things like that, I mean, those are all in our control as a, as a technician. 
to um, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be before the tool leaves the shop. Ah, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, from uh, from a sales perspective, um, I actually lean the other direction. I prefer the LWD tools um, as something to sell. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love selling the MWD all the time. It's a great system, a uh, great a great product. But uh, LWD right now seems to be one of the areas where you're, it's easier to differentiate yourself from the competition. Um, furthermore, the um, um, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's easier to differentiate yourself, but in addition, um, it's, uh, it's an add on product that for, to an existing system. So if I've already sold an MW system to a customer, um, I can then go in and I try to do an add on, uh, and try to, uh, increase the sale. You know, it's like, well, you know, why don't we add gamma because maybe you need this or, Maybe in your drilling application, um, you know, resistivity is something that 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 you require wherever you may be, you know, drilling, something like that. So I actually kind of prefer the add-on products um, because it opens up the number of people, number of potential clients that I can talk to about a particular product is wider for for the LWE tools, in my opinion. Anyway, that's just the way I've, what I've found. And that's actually even more so in the international market as opposed to domestic. Um, domestic market over here is pretty saturated. And, and honestly, we, we pretty much almost always use uh, Gamma, right? Back when I first started, Gamma was a, an add-on, right? Yeah. Uh, people occasionally wanted Gamma and you know, you'd add it on when they wanted it. Now it's, it's basically mandatory. Um, when you say MWD kit, it almost, it includes the gamma pretty much nowadays. Right. If you don't want it, you better say you don't want it because you're going to get it. <laughs> Otherwise you say you don't want it, right? I, that, that's just, yeah. just the way the market has changed in the last, um, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, right. which is too bad because uh, I, I do, I liked it when um, it was an add on, right? So a customer would want um, an MWD system and then you could uh, add on the gamma if they wanted it through. And from a rental standpoint, um, each one of those had its own uh, rental rate. Mm -hmm. Now with them both combined, unfortunately, uh, it represents a reduction in revenue for, for rental companies like Compass. Right. Good for the customer, eh, less so for, for the provider. Well, you know, I, I think we're getting to the point now where um, technology is kind of the big thing. And I think that's why you're swinging the way that you're swinging as far as, you know, the LWD tools. Um, I guess I'm kind of, I guess you could say old school when it comes to that. Like I said, I started this thing in 99, you know, and um, I've dealt with a couple of um, product lines other than just the MWD tool, um, but nothing like high tech. And I guess um, those were available at that time when I was just starting, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of stuck in that, you know, uh, don't, don't fix something that's not broke. Um, and I know there's, a, I know there's a lot of people that are going to disagree with me on that. And they're going to say, yeah, but you know, we can, you know, we can get all this extra data and we can go faster and we can do this and we can do that. I mean, cause money's an, a big thing right now, especially now the way the economy is and, you know, and, and uh, you know, people just trying to stay alive basically in this oil business. I mean, you and I both know we've been in it long enough to know how this thing works and it, you know, the ups and downs and the crashes and the, and the booms and the, you know, I mean, it's, it's uh, when I first started this, it was like um, every five years, you know, every six years we'd have, we'd have a downturn and now it's like what every three, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's getting to the point where it's kind of getting scary and, you know, and every time I have to leave this business, I keep saying, I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. Look at here. I am again. You know, it's just one of those things you, you hate it, but you love it at the same time. So <laughs> you just got to work your way through it, I guess. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of people out there in the oil field right now. Yeah. Got anyone that's still here has got to feel the exact same way. You know, that's, that's the way to go. What are your thoughts on that? Why, why, 
Um, are you thinking that uh, the LWD tool is, is more beneficial? Well, I mean, uh, it's mostly because of the, the changes that are going on in the drilling application. Um, um, engineers are wanting more and more data about what's going on in the well. Uh, you've got drilling dynamics coming on. You've got um, uh, logging that, are, that people want to get done so that they don't have to come back after the well is completed, run wire in the hole and, and wire line it. So the more information that can be gathered, uh, perhaps not transmitted, but at least gathered while the well is being drilled, it saves the, uh, the operator an awful lot of money on the back end. Um, and again, it, it also provides um, you know, steering options and drilling dynamics that might make a more efficient well that can produce better. Now, something else that just popped in my head is that as we add more and more of these LWD products to the, uh, to the, to the MWD system, it brings in a new aspect, which is uh, high-speed MWD, right? Because, for example, uh, how about an azimuthal resistivity tool or azimuthal gamma tool? Well, that's an awful lot of data, especially if you want it transmitted to the surface so that you know, the directional driller can use it for steering or the engineer can use it for planning out ahead or something like that. So um, high-speed MWD, that kicks it right back over to the MWD side where now we're talking about needing something that can transmit a lot faster, say, um, uh, three bits per second or maybe as high as four bits per second to get all the data that these guys are wanting nowadays um, which is it's actually it's kind of interesting that our conversations kind of meandered all over the place but you know it all started with MWD and then we added gamma and now we've got in even more advanced LWD products being added to it and it's shifting the focus back over to MWD where we're trying to get systems like that that are capable of transmitting the data as fast as the customer wants it um, which is uh, an interesting challenge, but uh, I think the industry is moving in the right direction. And like I said, uh, three and four bits per second is uh, quite doable nowadays. So it's a kind of exciting, exciting time with all those changes going on. Right. You know, when I first started this, I was really amazed to see um, the amount of data that could be brought up through a tool that's an inch and seven eighths in diameter. And thinking about how deep in the hole, you know, I mean, we're talking miles and miles down mm -hmm. into the earth and they're getting all this data. And obviously it's not like real time. Cause I mean, if they're four miles down the hole, it's not going to come up in like 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Like two seconds, they're going to have the data. They're going to be a little bit of a delay there because the mud has to pull the information up, you know, and the pulses and all that. But it just, it astounds me at, at what's available and what can be done through these tools now these days. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, Bob, like I, like I promised before, we're gonna keep these short and sweet um, so that we don't bore uh, people, especially the guys who already know all this stuff and uh, we're just kind of, uh, you know, uh, covering stuff that they've already heard many, many times before. So we're gonna keep this short and sweet and. Call her a day. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Later. All right. See you.